down to a, a place called Bird Safari, which is a bird shop I frequent whenever I need to get my bird's nails done. And it's about a 40 minute drive from where I live, so it's not the closest, unfortunately, but the lady there named Dana, she does a fantastic job and she's pretty much the only person I trust to maintain my bird's nails because she, she just does a great job. So that's where I'm heading now. And about, I would say every three months, I go and have my bird's nails done because even though I've used sand perches in the past, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of them whatsoever. They tend to be very rough on the bottom of the bird's feet and the sand perch itself doesn't really maintain the nails as much as it really needs to be maintained because and smooth and you know when your bird's nails get too long they get super sharp and they tend to get stuck in your shirt or other other things and then they panic and then you can very much end up with a bird with a, a broken leg a broken foot so it's kind of a dangerous situation it's always a good idea you know take your bird to the vet or to someone experienced and you know trimming your bird's nails and I'm I'm definitely not a huge fan of using clippers to clip the nails because then it, you know, it needs the nails like super sharp. It doesn't keep your knives nice and smooth. So the lady I'm going to, she's super experienced. She's done this for like 5,000 years with a lot of different birds. And she uses a Dremel, which actually just sands and buffs the nails down nice and short and keeps them nice and smooth. So it's it just, it's great. So I'm gonna show you a before shot of what my bird's nails look like before they got a pedicure I call it a pedicure because that's basically what it is and then the after shot as to what their nails look like after they've had the pedicure so whew, I'm gonna close this uh, sunroof here there we go and I'm so happy it's another California weather day <laughs> like I wish it was like this every single day I wouldn't be crying my eyes out to wanting to be back to California so bad and I'm actually gonna post a concern actually a huge concern I have about my plans of moving back to California so that concern might be a deal breaker but I put that in another video because I don't want this video to get too long and today I have cuckoo nut on me Geraldine's in the little uh, cage thing in a, in a, a little seatbelt thing <laughs> so I think Cuckoo Nut definitely must know that I'm driving or something because at home, he would never in a million years sit this still on my shoulder. Like he's just so well behaved now. I think he knows I'm driving and that he has to be on his best behavior. Is that what it is, Cuckoo Nut? The, 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 the adjuster is going to have to go. Oh. Geraldine. Geraldine, you're next. Can I go out the way? Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. I kind of uh, had a little uh, accident in the in the store. <laughs> when I was attempting to record, but I wanted to record the footage on my new cell phone. I just got the Samsung S9 Plus cell phone literally two days ago. And the footage I thought I recorded didn't actually record properly on my cell phone. So all the footage I just thought I was shooting in the bird shop, I actually didn't record. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, I'll have to record it on my next visit back to the bird shop, so. But at least you guys saw a glimpse of how I get my bird nails done. 
with that Dremel. It just, it works really, really great. It gets the bird's nails nice and short and it keeps it nice and smooth because, you know, it's not clipping it on like a clipper, which leaves the nails sharp. When you use a Dremel, it just buffs it really nice and smooth. And of course, I got Kukuna a new toy in there because, you know, you can't go to a bird shop ever without getting Kukuna a toy. Kukuna, do you want to show me off your feet? And I'll post a picture right now of the before and after. But anyway, again, I apologize for not being able to record the footage I was intending to shoot inside the, the bird shop because I'm a moron and I, apparently I don't know how to use a cell phone. But anyways, that was my video. So if you liked it, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Apocalypse, the dream of the last thing.